an eyesore in the close-knit Hello, I am Solaj Alfred. Welcome to the HTS ePoll. It's your opportunity to weigh in on the most pressing issues of the day. St. Lucia and the world woke up on Tuesday to the news that the founder and chairman of Sandals Resorts International, Gordon Butch Stewart, had passed. Under his stewardship and vision, Sandals moved from the modest one resort in Montego Bay, Jamaica in 1981 to 24 properties in the Caribbean. Sandals Resort International has three resorts and the Cape State Golf Club with advanced plans to build a fourth resort on the Pigeon Island Causeway. Questions now abound about the future of Sandals Resorts International with the passing of its founder. So, we ask. Do you expect Sandals Resorts International's positive contribution to St. Lucia to continue with the passing of its founder and chairman, Gordon Butch Stewart? We tallied the numbers on our voting platforms and here is how you voted. 57% said yes, 33% said no, and 10% had no comment. We also took to the streets to get your opinion and here's what you had to say. Bush Stewart was a great man. He created employment for lots of people in the Caribbean. And now that his son is taking over, let's hope that it will be as great as he was. Based on what I heard his son said, I'm guessing that he will continue where his father left off. You know, who knows? I hope it's for the better. I hope. Maybe he thinks differently. Oh, who knows? It's, it's been said that the apple does not fall far from the tree. If somebody could help the, the son to, to do the work, then it would perform. Okay. But it might take a long time. Good Stewart was a, a, a great um, businessman, you know, an icon, you know, a man with vision, you know. But with the current situation that the, um, the, the tourism market is in, I hope that, um, let's just hope that um, his son has the same vision that he had, you know, will continue to create jobs for, 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 for the people in the Caribbean, and um, he can go forward. So I'm in my car, 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 we have a discussion by Koyo because it's not easy to change. You don't have to cut the lot. Everyone has to do one by you. So you have to know what you have to do. I'm very happy to have you here. I believe that no one is indispensable. I believe that no one is indispensable. I believe that life will continue as usual. Um, let's take for example, Lucifer left heaven and heaven continued to be a great place. So the absence of Good Stewart really doesn't make a difference as it relates to the continuity of tourism. Tourism is there before, before him and will continue to be there and thrive as usual. It's the islands that made him, not him made the islands. So whilst I have nothing personal against him, but life goes on, my brother. Good Stewart was a great marketer and I just hope that his son would be just as successful as he was. Thanks for those responses. Now to our new discussion. A cattle farmer at shock is crying foul over the recent rounding up and impounding of some of his animals. The action was taken as part of the effort to address the long-standing problem of cattle impeding traffic and endangering road users. There have been reports of accidents involving cattle on the highway, one of which was fatal. But the farmer claims that his animals were grazing in a secure area and, according to him, had he had been promised by those in authority that if the animals were grazing away from the road, they would not be taken away. So we ask, do you support the action taken by the Ministry of Agriculture to rid the highway of the threat posed by cattle? Voting is easy. Just log on to htsenusha.org or Facebook at htsenusha official and vote. You can also send your response via text or WhatsApp to 584 for hts That's 584 
For Flow Handset owners, here's a reminder of your special voting platform. From your Flow Handset, text your EPOL response to 487. Press 1 to vote yes, 2 for no, 3 no comment, and 4 I don't know. Join the discussion from your full device and get the opportunity to win weekly prizes. And our EPOL team is always on the go to get your responses as well. Watch the HTS News Force from 7pm for the results and a new discussion.